Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing something incredibly exciting. Do you want to see your soulmate? And if you do, definitely make sure to watch this video until the very end. But before we get started with all of that and you getting a chance to actually see what your soulmate looks like, I just wanted to say welcome to our channel. My name is Megan and I'm the lead spiritual advisor for the Relationship Psychics. Today, just like I mentioned, we are doing something way different than anything we've ever done before. We are actually going to be sketching your soulmate and showing you sketches of what your soulmate potentially will look like. So that is so exciting, so different, and definitely a reason to really stick around till the end of the video. But before we begin with all of that, I would love it so, so much if you could just click that subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed and joined our amazing family here on YouTube. We have such an amazing spiritual family and we would love it so much because we have different psychic content and readings and lives going on every single day. So you definitely don't want to miss being a part of this amazing little family and community here on YouTube. Also, if you can give this video a big thumbs up and comment below which of these three colors or crystals you choose so we can all see what your soulmate will look like. Another quick thing that I did want to mention is that if you haven't already heard, we just launched our brand new app, Mystica Psychic Readings. It's really exciting because right now we are giving you guys $5 of free credit to get started. All you need to do is just use the link that I have down below in the description box and download the app and you will get your five free dollars towards your first psychic reading. So very exciting. I will be on the app, Court will be on the app, and the rest of our amazing psychic team. So definitely make sure to say hello on there. So just to really allow ourselves to set our intention today, I just wanted to take a few moments to really breathe, to really open ourselves up to the beautiful divine power of the universe and to ask for guidance today as we really look into the physical features of our soulmate. So what does our soulmate physically look like? What physical features can we expect our soulmate to have? Will they be tall? Will they be blonde? Will they have darker hair? Will they have bigger eyes? Like what is it exactly that will distinguish our soulmate and allow us to recognize the person that God has made specifically for us? So just as you kind of become mindful of that, I would also invite you to take a deep inhale through your nose, inhaling positive love and light, and now exhale through your releasing all of that stress, anxiety, and tension. Just let go of all of the things that you have been holding on to throughout the day and just be present and be here in this moment. I wanted to say I am so beyond blessed to share my gift with you and to have the ability to really go on this journey together. So thank you again so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. It really means a lot to me. And I'm just looking forward to helping show you what your soulmate actually looks like. So without further ado, I just wanted to give you guys a few seconds to look and see which of these colors or which of these crystals really calls to you. So take as much time as you need here to really meditate on which color, which card, which figure really calls to your intuition. And I always like to tell you guys to just really trust your inner light to guide you here. Just trust that you will be led to the person that you have always been meant to receive and to see in this reading. And if you feel as if, as I begin the reading, that it's not really talking to your spirit, if you feel that the energy isn't really there, then you can always go to one of my other readings and see if that kind of speaks to you in a more direct and illuminating way. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that once you decide if it's, you know, person or crystal number one, person or crystal number two, or person or crystal number three, all you need to do is just use the timestamps that I have located down below in the description box and you can jump to your particular sketch and reading. 
but if you would rather, you can watch all three and see which aspects of the readings, of the sketches, of the drawings really resonate with you and your potential soulmate. So totally up to you. This is your reading and I am just here to support you and give you love and guidance. So anyways, I'm so excited and let's get started. All right, so for all my friends who chose the green crystal, today we are gonna be looking at what your soulmate looks like. We also are going to dive into what your soulmate's personality is, what are some of their character traits, and some of the attributes that you can look out for when it comes to your soulmate. So definitely make sure to stick around till the end so you can see what your soulmate actually physically looks like. I am going to present you guys a sketch that I did before this that shows both male and female versions of what your soulmate potentially will look like. I also want to mention here that since this is a universal reading, this can definitely vary based on age. Some of the characteristics may apply and some may not, but you definitely will have some of these key characteristics present physically in your soulmate. So definitely make sure to keep an eye out for that and to kind of just understand that there will be different characteristics for each person, but there will be universal themes here. So before we actually reveal what your soulmate physically looks like, I just wanted to select a few cards and kind of talk about them as well so we can kind of get a better sense of who your soulmate really is as well as like their personality and everything about them. So I'm just going to tap my energy into this deck here and we are just going to take a look and see what else we can learn about your soulmate. So shuffling the deck. Okay, so I'm feeling drawn to this card right here, which says positivity. So it says, if you can find even one thing to be grateful for, it will restore you to the light. Please, dear God, let me always feel gratitude for something, even a tiny thing and even the hardest situations. So I feel really already strongly that your soulmate is definitely going to be someone who really radiates positivity. They're definitely someone that you almost feel drawn to and that they just have a positive and optimistic outlook on life. They really believe in all the blessings, you know, they've been given and they're incredibly grateful for those things. They're definitely someone who's extremely appreciative and, you know, feels gratitude, not only for all the blessings that has been poured into their life, but also for their relationship with you, whether that's current or in the future. They will definitely be immensely grateful for having you be placed into their life and the fact that the two of you came together. So they're definitely going to be gracious for you. They're definitely going to be positive and really almost radiate that positive and light energy. So that's definitely something to look out for when it comes to your soulmate, someone who is like a light, someone who lights up the room and just radiates positivity, love, kindness, respect, and gratitude. Gratitude is very, very, very big here because I'm really sensing that your soulmate is going to be someone who definitely is gracious definitely appreciates things you know not only just by saying thank you and just acting in such a way but it's like deep within themselves they have this incredible gratitude for life and they see the small things and like really appreciate them and they just really are just feeling like overwhelmed with just such you know such positivity that literally comes from god and comes from the universe so that's really what i'm getting already i'd love to shuffle these cards once more and see what else we can learn here so let's see Ooh, this card kind of almost flew out at us. So let's see. Forgiveness. So it says healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. So what I feel like this really means when it comes to your soulmate is like they are someone who is able to like, because probably of their positivity and their, you know, kindness and their gratitude for people, they are someone who is willing to forgive people. Sometimes that can be a good thing. Sometimes it can almost, you know, cause almost them to be taken advantage of in some ways because they are so, you know, compassionate and easily forgiving of other people. So, you know, that's definitely something that you will find in them that they are able to have that compassion. They are able to have a ton of empathy. Like I'm feeling like they are very empathetic, very optimistic, very positive, and, you know, they accept that, you know, people come from different backgrounds, that people make mistakes, and they don't believe that your mistakes really define who you are as a person. So next, I'm actually going to draw two cards from this deck here. So let's see what else we can learn 
about your soulmate. Oh, this is definitely the card for us. So let's see, it says control issues. So it says, utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. So they feel like, I feel like your soulmate may not necessarily be controlling, but they definitely do have some issues with like boundaries. They have some issues with either feeling like a lack of control in their life or that like, you know, maybe they feel like they need to be in control because they feel out of control in other ways. So, you know, they may have had a past of like having to deal with that through, you know, anxiety, like through depression, pretend, potentially also I'm getting that they could have dealt with it through like eating disorders or like something that really like caused them to feel control because something in their life, in their past, caused them to feel so out of control. So that is something that they kind of struggle with, but I think that it's not necessarily something, you know, that's bad. It's just something that they deal with or have dealt with in the past. And last but not least, we are just going to shuffle this once more, see what else we can learn about your soulmate. Ooh, I felt drawn to this card, so let's see. It says purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. So what's interesting here is I feel like this almost more so means that like they came from kind of a hard past. Like they definitely had something in their past that kind of caused these control issues to really occur within them. And when they met you and like by meeting you, you have been able to really help them to purify and detoxify from, you know, whatever it is, the trauma, the abuse, whatever, you know, the heartbreak, whatever it was that really caused them to, you know, suffer and have, you know, some issues like in their, in their early days or, you know, in their life overall, basically you coming with them, you're able to give them that support and love and show them again, like they have been through so much that that's why they're willing to forgive because they know that like people can change and they still believe the best in people. They still have that positivity. They still have that gratitude. And part of the reason they are so, you know, able to really be grateful and feel like that gratitude for everything and for all their blessings is because they have come from some hard times and some hard issues they've dealt with in the past but it has also made them into the person they are today and they have not lost that deep empathy within themselves. They have not lost that ability to forgive, to love, to smile, to laugh. And you know, that's another part of this whole aspect of you coming together with your soulmate is the fact that by, you know, supporting them in this way, you will be a light to them to help them continue to release, you know, all of the toxins that have really accumulated throughout their life. So, you know, it's definitely never too late to change and you definitely are going to be that light and source that's going to help them to just continue to just be the best version of themselves possible so that's a very beautiful thing so now on to some of what you guys are probably most excited for here is we're going to look at physically what your soulmate will look like so we're going to take a quick look at some of the physical features they may present some of the things that when i was meditating really came to my intuition and inner eye so let's just take a look here and there's going to be two different genders because i know we all have different sexual preferences when it comes to genders so that's why i wanted to give you guys two different you know possibilities here so let's see so first we have the male version right and when i was you know sketching this today these are a few things we can talk about that to look out for when it comes to your soulmate so i feel like they potentially will have like darker hair um, it's going to potentially be like kind of tossed a little bit like it's going to kind of be slightly messy but not in like a bad way just kind of like a disheveled little like um, like tossed hair not too long but potentially again this could just be at a moment in time because these themes are deeper than time itself so just keep in mind that it could be something in the past or future for this person as well also you know I don't feel like they have too large of ears just kind of you know smaller ears I feel like their eyes are pretty like big and piercing but then they're also kind of more so you know um closer together i would say and they have very shapely eyebrows is what i'm sensing shapely eyebrows and back to the eyes like the eyes really see through like they really are able to like penetrate through you almost in a way and kind of like when you look into their eyes it's almost like you are almost entranced by them because they have such an you know serious soul and they have just the ability to really see and like when they smile too their eyes kind of crinkle up a little bit which is 
you know, very, very endearing, very, <laughs> like it causes a lot of happiness and almost light. But in this, you know, in this sketch in moment in time, they're kind of more so just piercing, you know, into you and into your soul and kind of just gazing. And they have eyes too that are very forgiving and wise. That's another thing I really wanted to point out here is like their eyes again. Oh yeah. And forgiving. So that completely goes with our card reading. They have forgiving eyes. So they have eyes that like have seen a lot and are also very willing to forgive and willing to see the best in other people and willing to see the positivity and blessings that they've been given, even though they have seen serious hardships in their life, serious problems with control, serious problems with, you know, toxins and just a lot of that, they also have these eyes that are able to learn from those things and still see the best in other people. So very big, wise, you know, believing in positivity and love and life kind of eyes, but also eyes that have learned from some past heartache too. So that's really what I'm getting so far. As far as the frame of the face, I'm sensing something that's a little bit smaller in stature, a little bit you know, condensed um, and also, you know, slightly, slightly triangular, uh, kind of smaller features, I would say overall, more petite features. Then, you know, the nose is, it kind of comes, it's a little bit larger at the bottom. It's definitely more so, you know, a like, pear-shaped nose, I would say, and very distinctive as well. So a distinct nose too also means that they have very good sense of direction. So that really does help here kind of explain things that they have this direction of where they want to go and who they want to be with and being with you too has given them that sense of direction and that sense of learning from their eyes of the things they've seen in the past and then you know i feel like there could be some facial hair here as well potentially maybe they sometimes have it sometimes don't but there's definitely been a period of time where they have had facial hair and then the mouth is very like it's very you know it's not quick to hurt other people is what I'm sensing. It's not quick to act in anger. It's more so just kind of, it's able to be quiet when it needs to be. It's very, it's very receptive. It's very encouraging when it is, you know, open. So that's kind of what I'm sensing here. I'm sensing like a smile that's almost like grinning in a way somewhat because of that positive outlook on life. And, you know, then we have kind of a smaller stature of shoulders and that's kind of really what I'm getting. And then, you know, kind of a darker ethnicity is what I'm sensing, you know, something that's a little bit more tan skin. Um, so yeah, so that's really what I am getting with your soulmate, you know, someone who is, who has some of those features that we discussed, you know, kind of darker as far as um, height. I'm not really getting a sense on height, but I am getting, you know, all of this so far. And then next we're going to show you the female version of this soulmate creation. So let's take a look. Okay. So for our female, what we have here right now is we have, you know, very beautiful. She's definitely someone who has kind of like a lighter hair I'm sensing or has at some point had like lighter hair doesn't have to be super light but you know it could also be dark actually like I'm sensing like not necessarily a definitive sense as far as the color of the hair but I am feeling like the hair is kind of it's like a little bit thinner like lighter and also it's kind of more straight I would say versus curly like it's kind of like a straighter hair or one where someone straightens their hair even if they have naturally curly hair maybe they tend to straighten it a lot next what I'm sensing here is like there is a little bit of like worry on the face, a little bit of expression to expressiveness. And that also probably comes from, you know, the control issues that they have or their past of toxins that have built up over the years. So they do have some of those, you know, some of that stress a little bit right here and tension in the forehead. Then what I'm also sensing is kind of prominent eyebrows that aren't like necessarily like very prominent, but there's still kind of a little bit that shapely eyebrow that kind of shows wisdom, kind of shows, you know, openness to positivity though as well and openness to forgive. Then the eyes are very kind, very kind eyes, very positive, loving, appreciative eyes, eyes that almost kind of, you know, have wonder, a sense of wonder. Because even though they have gone through some things in their life, they still are optimistic, they still are positive, and they still are very, very empathetic. Like, do you see how empathetic these eyes look? That's something I really want you to watch for is just the overall empathy of the eye, the overall ability to see the best in people and to really feel what other people are feeling. That's really what I'm getting here is like this ability to like see 
and feel and just experience that of other people. And that's why they are so able to forgive because they do see and accept people for exactly what they're going through and who they are. Next, what I wanted to mention is, you know, kind of a little bit eyes that are separated or, you know, more further apart. And then the nose, which is more of a gradual curve of a nose, but also, you know, prominent enough as well, where it's, you know, still showing us that sense of direction, that sense of knowing. Next, I wanted to talk about the shape of, you know, the cheekbone. We have pretty prominent cheekbones, I would say here. Not so, you know, definitely kind of like a chin that isn't overwhelming, but is kind of, you know, like a very nice shape. Kind of like a diamond shape a little bit, almost a little bit triangular as well. And then I wanted to point out here is that the lips are very like, they're almost, you know, able to like smile even in the hardest time. They kind of are able to like have a sense of humor with things and that's what I'm really sensing here. So very curved lip experience here. And then I also, you know, I'm sensing a little bit of like a smaller stature, maybe more of a petite kind of person. So that's what I'm really getting so far. But anyways, you know, I really hope that you did enjoy this reading and these two, you know, sketches. Again, just keep in mind that these are definitely universal readings. So there's going to be some traits that really do stand out and really make sense for your soulmate and some that potentially, you know, don't necessarily apply, but it's more important to just see which parts of these features really do stand out and make sense for you and for your own situation and your own reading. So I hope that that made sense today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy this reading today, I would seriously appreciate it so, so much if you would subscribe to our channel and you know, comment below if you did like this or did you did find any clarity here or see that any of these um, potentially resonating with your soulmate or who you believe to be your soulmate. So I just, again, am so grateful to have each and every one of you here involved in this channel. And I would love it too, if you want to check out this video next, which I'm going to link at the top of the screen here. But again, just give this video a big thumbs up, which helps our channel, helps us continue to grow and to show more people this content. So thank you guys again so, so much. I am sending all of my love and light to you guys until next time. Bye guys. All right, so for all of my friends who chose the red crystal, I'm really excited today to be doing this soulmate reading with you guys. We're going to not only be looking at a few of the character traits that your soulmate possesses, but we are also going to be looking at a sketch, which is going to show some of your soulmate's physical features and some of the things that you can look out for when it comes to how your soulmate will physically look. So I'm really excited to get into that, and I know you guys all are probably excited to see, but before we do that, I did want to select a few cards for this reading and kind of take a look at some of the character traits and overall personality that your soulmate may possess as well. So let's just shuffle these cards here and see what we can learn about your soulmate. Oops, don't want to reveal too much. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, so this is the card that Okay, so we have being enough as our first card that really correlates to your soulmate, which says the innermost heart says you are enough, nowhere to go, nothing to get, nothing to change. You need to grow more deserving. You, yes, you are love. So what I feel like something that your soulmate really struggles with is this feeling of being enough. I very much sense that your soulmate may be a perfectionist, maybe someone who wants to achieve, very motivated is what I'm sensing, very has a very strong sense of dreams, you know, and things that they want to achieve in life and what they really want. And they really have a clear understanding of what they want, but at the same time, they just feel like they can always do better, they can always improve, and this causes them to struggle with feelings of insecurity and feelings of being enough. And again, they do have a very strong sense of wanting to be better and be the best version of themselves, but at the same time, this does cause them to sometimes feel inadequate in who they currently are. So. That's definitely something I'm already sensing. So it's something that I definitely feel like you also will be able to support them with and to just remind them of the amazing person that they are and the amazing things they've done and who they currently are and how they are enough just to exactly how they've been made. So I feel like that's somewhere that you're really gonna be able to support them in this relationship. So just shuffling these cards. Okay, so I feel like this is the card, patience. So I feel like right now your soulmate 
is someone who, and this is funny how this is coming to me. I don't necessarily feel like they themselves are very patient. Like they are patient in some ways, but it's more so like you guys balance each other out in such a way where it's like when they feel overwhelmed, like you are able to be the patient one. You are able to kind of show that patience and kind of almost talk them down because I feel like right now that your soulmate is very like impulsive by nature. There's someone who is very driven by, you know, feelings or just driven by like emotions. And I feel like this card really tells me that like you will have to sometimes be patient with them and kind of talk them through things and kind of almost be able to like check against their emotional states. So I feel like what you can really do here is to really talk them down, kind of be the voice of reason when they need it and just remind them of how special and truly amazing they are just right in their current state. So next I'm gonna shuffle this deck and see what else we can learn about this future soulmate for you. Oh, I feel like this is the cards, let's see. It says, let yourself sparkle and shine. It says you are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So that's kind of what I was feeling here is like, I don't feel, okay, so I feel like they definitely are someone who is a leader in a big way like they love to sparkle they love to be the center of attention they love to shine and they really have that special energy about them they have incredible talents incredible gifts they have such beauty and such a presence that just kind of radiates through them they are definitely bold they're not someone who's scared of talking i'm sensing someone who's very able to communicate very outgoing and very you know overwhelmed with just a sense of life, a sense of being, a sense of passion. They're a very passionate person is what I'm getting here. And again, very bold, bigger than life is a perfect way to describe it. But even though they are bigger than life and have all of these things going on with them, they do still struggle sometimes with this feeling of wanting to be better, wanting to be more, because even though they are all these amazing things, they just are always driven by their passions and their sense of the future where they're able to see what they want and their potential and that kind of gets in the way sometimes of causing them to feel inadequate so that's something where you're going to have to exhibit that patience with them and then let's just draw another card here see what else we can learn about your family here just shuffle it back oh okay so interesting so there, there was two cards that kind of um, that kind of came out, but we'll just go with this purple one because this is the one I'm feeling more drawn to here. And this says spiritual protection. So it says you are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So this is interesting because how I feel like this applies to your soulmate is a few ways. It applies in a few ways. So first off, they are someone who is very spiritually wise. They have a lot of spiritual wisdom. They definitely have a very strong relationship with God, with the universe, with the divine. And they are someone who has such a big heart. They definitely have such a passionate, emotional, huge heart. And they also are someone, there's a lot of ways I'm feeling this card really applies right now. They also are someone who likes to protect other people. So they almost have this sense of wanting to protect those in need. They have almost kind of like a very kind giving heart where they want to shower out their love to, you know, to animals, to kids, to anyone who like needs people and support. They want to protect them. They're very protective in nature. They may also be involved in an occupation that kind of is a giving occupation. They're a very giving person. So in some ways they do have patience you know, in that they're patient with those who they need to, but they're not necessarily patient with themselves all the time. That's really what I'm getting overall is like they're patient with other people, but not themselves because they are also always really just trying to be better, do better, and they never feel like they are quite enough, even though they are bigger than life and you see that they are this amazing person. It's just like hard for them to see it if that makes sense. So now that we kind of went over some of the character traits that your soulmate will possess, I would love now to kind of take a look here and see what your soulmate actually physically looks like. And although that these traits and these physical attributes are definitely going to be potentially like part of what your soulmate looks like, I just wanted to remind you guys that 
you know, since this is a group universal reading, there's going to be some aspects that are on point with who your soulmate is. And those aspects will really shine out to you and really call to you as I'm going through them. So just keep note here too that this is a moment in time. So this could be something in the past or the future with this person because our physical appearances do change over time. So let's take a look here and see. Okay, so first we have the female version of your soulmate. So what I'm sensing already for this female version is definitely darker hair. I'm sensing dark, long hair, actually. Long, dark hair and kind of, I would say, a little bit on the thicker side. Definitely fuller hair, but it's not necessarily like super curly. It might be a little curly at the ends, but it's more so like wavy or straight and, you know, thick and dark is what I'm getting. Then as far as our skin complexion or ethnicity, what I'm getting here is, you know, someone who is a little bit more tan, a little bit, you know, definitely has some color to them. Not necessarily something that is like, you know, super, just kind of more so in the middle, like tan, I would say, you know, it could be Middle Eastern, could be, um, you know, Hispanic or um, South American, or it could also be, you know, Asian of some, you know, some Asian descents. Um, there's definitely some influence of, you know, a different, or it could also be Italian. It could be like, there's a lot of different ways. It could just be someone who tans a little bit. There's a lot of different things I'm sensing as far as that goes as well. So then next I wanted to point out, there isn't much of a forehead here that I'm sensing. Like the forehead is a little bit smaller, but it's not, It's it, that's a beautiful thing. Whenever I say some of these traits, I want you to remember that everyone is beautifully and uniquely made by God. So I am not saying anything is bad when I am you know, discussing these physical features, but they have probably a smaller forehead and they also have a kind of like a wider head, I'm feeling like a wider, a wider jaw and they have kind of more of like a you know scrunched down face that's a little bit wider so it's like kind of almost like and it's a very it's a bigger head I would also want to point out it's much bigger than their body like it's almost you know how dolls and Barbies have very big heads with big eyes that's kind of what I'm getting here almost like like larger than life you know they have larger than life eyes they have huge eyes by the way that's another really big thing that I'm sensing is very big eyes that are very like expressive, very loving and expressive and very excited and like wanting to like be bold, wanting to have these dreams, wanting to, you know, continue to succeed, to just, you know, find that joy and happiness. So they definitely have really large eyes that are very loving, very caring. So next, what I'm sensing here too, that I wanted to point out is the eyebrows are, I would say thicker. I would definitely say thicker eyebrows that have a slight arch to them as well. So there's a slight arch and they're a little bit thicker. Next, I would like to point out the nose. The nose is pretty narrow, actually. The nose is pretty narrow and pretty refined. So we have kind of more of a refined nose here. And I'm also sensing very high cheekbones. So as you can see, the cheekbones are very high, very distinct, very, very, um, the jaw as well is very linear and Next, let's see, we have lips. The lips are very big. Also kind of show her bigger than life personality. So she definitely is someone who's outgoing, likes to be the center of attention, likes to talk a lot. So that also kind of goes hand in hand with her bigger lips. Her bigger lips also I'm sensing symbolize kind of this like feminine side of her. Like she's definitely more on the feminine side. She definitely is almost kind of like a passionate romantic person and is easily able to romanticize things as well. Very feeling oriented and very expressive. So that's kind of what I'm getting with her lips is that larger than life personality, that ability to really find love and fall in love and to really cherish. There's also some sensual aspects going on with that and just the overall aspect of her being, you know, definitely kind of a star in a way, definitely someone who's very expressive and very much who she is. Next, I would love to point out her chin, which her chin is a little bit shorter in nature, and it does have a little dimple on it, which is very distinct and very interesting 
and beautiful as well is there is a little dimple here so she has a prominent chin that isn't necessarily prominent but more so the jaw itself is prominent and the dimple is is there too which is a very unique little mark there so there's definitely some dimples going on there's also maybe a little bit of dimples right here that's something that i can also see and then we have kind of her body as we kind of go towards her neck her neck is smaller and shorter is what i'm sensing and then i'm sensing like her shoulders aren't necessarily very large like her frame isn't super large but her head is a little bit larger than her frame so that's kind of what i'm getting with her so far very very beautiful very beautiful almost like you know next level beautiful like the kind of beautiful that kind of takes you to new heights new places because you're almost entranced almost like feeling like it's not even human you know because she has some of that those qualities that really possess like serious almost like goddess energy is what i'm sensing so that's very beautiful and now let's take a look at the male version of your soulmate so if you are someone who is interested in males as romantic partners this is kind of what you can look out for and some of the features you can look out for when it comes to them so here we have our male and our male is what i'm sensing is more so probably lighter skinned um a little bit smaller of a face frame but also longer like a longer face frame that's also kind of you know it has a a point but it's not too pointed it's just kind of like a very ovally sort of shape we also have very um dark we have dark hair it's not very dark well it could be very dark but it's definitely not like super light it's a little bit of a darker shade and it's also you know kind of tossed but also very neatly very very fashion oriented or you know very trendy of a haircut so it's very handsome is what i'm getting a very handsome person who cares about you know presenting themselves in such a way which is a good thing and next what i wanted to point out is the ears the ears aren't very big they're a little bit smaller but they're perfectly proportioned i would say to the rest of the face then what i would like to point out here is we have almost kind of like a like a boyish look to this soulmate so but it's a very attractive boyish look like it's a very put together clean cut kind of kind of person and it's very attractive as well as far as the forehead goes it's kind of more so on the average side of forehead lengths and our eyebrows are a little bit bushier but not incredibly so and they're also definitely curved we have a little bit of a curve here but they're also again very neat they're a perfect balance of you know that clean cut nature that boyish you know teenage kind of nature that isn't necessarily in that age range so next i would like to point out the eyes the eyes are pretty big for a male figure and they're also very wise very like almost like smirking in a way and like seeing you beyond yourself if that also resonates and makes sense to you so there are definitely eyes that are wise eyes that have a lot of knowledge eyes that really can look into the depths of your soul and they really can express something very exciting very 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 thrilling eyes these eyes too as well also kind of indicate to me that this person sometimes can have a sense of humor they can sometimes be humorous they can sometimes be very natural and able to just almost laugh and like make very witty and funny remarks so they may be sarcastic they may be witty they definitely have this really amazing sense of humor about them next i would like to really show you know that they have the, this nose that isn't again super it's not a, it's a pretty slim nose i would say but i don't necessarily have a sense of the length but it's definitely like very refined almost for a male figure it's a refined beautiful nose it's like longer but you know very refined and beautiful and handsome as well next what i'm getting here is the lips are not necessarily large but they're more so long they're kind of long and that kind of goes hand in hand with their ability to grin and find humor and things and almost find wisdom and things as well and last but not least we have our chin which is a little bit of a longer chin a little bit prominent as well kind of a chin that really kind of has a very strong ability to to really stand out and to make decisions this kind of really indicates to me that this person is incredibly decisive in their nature and they're incredibly able to make 
important decisions about themselves and about what they want in life. Next, you know, I'm sensing kind of a, a probably average sized neck and almost a smaller stature. I wouldn't say actually smaller stature. I would say more so the shoulders are kind of in the middle. They're not incredibly broad, but they're not incredibly narrow. They're more so in the middle. So that's kind of what I'm getting with the physical features of the male and female versions of your soulmate. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this reading today and did find some of these features to really resonate with you and with who your potential soulmate may be, or just give you an idea of different features to look out for when it comes to your soulmate. Also, if you haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you could just subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up, which really helps show that you enjoy these videos and helps our channel to continue to grow and reach more people with our free readings. So it would really mean so, so much to me if you could do that. Also, make sure to comment below if any of these features stand out to you and you enjoyed today. I have another reading, which I'm going to link at the top of the screen here, so you can check out this one next. But that is it for this reading today, and I'm just sending you guys all my love and light. Until next time. Bye, guys. All right, so for all my friends who chose our blue crystal, this is going to be a reading on your soulmate. We are going to take a look at some of the personality and character traits of your soulmate, but we also are going to actually be looking at a drawing of your soulmate, which is super exciting. Now, I do want to remind you guys that this drawing is subjective and that it could be at any point in time. And since this is a universal overall energy drawing, I do want to let you know that some of these features will definitely be in line with your soulmate, but others may not. So definitely it's important to really look at your intuition and look at which aspects of the reading as I'm talking really call to you and the sketch really resonate with you. So first, before we kind of get started with this, I just wanted to actually shuffle some cards and draw a few cards to kind of give us a better sense of your soulmate overall. So I'm just going to tap my energy in here and we're going to shuffle these cards and see what else we can learn about your potential soulmate. So let's take a look. Okay, so our first card is service, which says you stop using the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. So what I feel like this really means about your soulmate here is that your soulmate is going to be someone who is incredibly giving. They're definitely going to be someone who is able to get involved in the community, in the church, and whatever it is that they are passionate about, they're able to kind of be of service to others. Maybe they are in a service industry for their profession as well. So maybe, you know, they are a server, a waitress, a nurse, a teacher. They're somehow kind of serving other people or the community in some way is what I'm really getting here. I'm also getting a very, very innate kindness with this person kind of almost to something I'm getting here is like this person isn't necessarily always liking to be the center of attention, but they are just so special. They're someone who kind of is able to really thrive in more of a group community like setting. They don't want to necessarily be the center of attention, but they are very special in so many ways. That's really what I'm getting here. So let's also draw another card and see what else we can learn about your potential soulmate. Okay, so this is definitely the card. True love. Okay, wow. So it says, your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner, but this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. So what I feel like this means when it comes to your soulmate is that they are someone who is obsessed with love. They want to be in love. They definitely gravitate towards relationships. So they definitely are someone who isn't great necessarily at being single. They really like to be with another person and they really like to be involved in some sort of relationship and they have been for a lot of their life. They are someone also who really is desperate, but not in a bad way. They just really want more than anything to find that person and to find you ultimately because they are driven by the sense of true love and longing and belonging to someone else. So that's a very big part of who they are. They also are someone who is more submissive, I'm sensing. So someone who really does want to be of service 
really wants to give. And not only does the service card apply for their kind personality, but it also applies in that they are kind of like the giver in the relationship. They're someone who really kind of wants to just serve the other person, wants to pour into the other person. Like they don't need to be the center of attention. They don't need to be loud. They're kind of more to themselves, but they also are really, you know, definitely determined to do whatever it takes to kind of please this other person and to really almost kind of pour into this other person, make this other person happy. So they definitely have a very beautiful heart as well. So next we're gonna shuffle from this deck and see what else we can learn about your soulmate. Okay, so this card just kind of pulled out to me. So it says, bless your heart, which says, reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. So what I feel like this means here is that this person has had a broken heart before, like a very hard, hard situation with another romantic partner. And they've really like, they've really struggled with that. They're not good at being alone and it really has caused them intense heartache and pain. Like they are someone who really, really thrives being with another person and that's something they've really struggled with. But the beautiful thing is that when they're with you, they're able to fully mend that broken heart. They're able to find that you were the true person they've always been destined for and that they don't need this other person any longer. So definitely look out for someone who has dealt with a broken heart in the past and just know that you are going to help give them that solution that they need in order to fully heal from this. Okay, next we're going to shuffle this again and see what else we can learn about your soulmate. Okay, so now we have divine life purpose. So it says trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. So they're definitely someone very intuitive. They're someone who's incredibly in touch with their feelings, with their emotions, and they really are able to trust their third eye, their inner wisdom and their intuition that guides them through life. So they are someone who is really driven by feeling and someone who has almost like a psychic intuition about them. So definitely look out for someone who's very spiritually driven with such strong wisdom and intuition. So now that we looked at some of these character traits of your soulmate, I want to show you actually some of the physical features to look out for when it comes to your soulmate. So now is the moment you guys all have been waiting for. We are going to look at some of the sketches of your soulmate. I have a female version as well as a male version based on your own romantic preferences. So let's take a look and see what we have. So first we have our male version. So some of the things that I'm already really sensing with your soulmate for all those who are attracted to males is this person has kind of like a larger head, definitely a very distinct head as well. Very shapely too. A jaw, a very strong jaw is what I'm getting here. When we look at the skin color and complexion, I would say someone who's a little bit lighter skinned, someone who's a little bit more fair. So the hair is a little bit you know, messy, but in a kind of more, you know, romantically attractive way. It's kind of like you could see yourself putting your hands through their hair. And, you know, it's it's a very like seductive hairstyle that I'm sensing. I also am sensing a little bit of facial hair here. So take a look at the facial hair. There's going to be some stubble. So I'm sensing a very attractive man who has a very strong jaw. Next, let's look at his ears. So his ears are very nice and proportional. They're not too large, they're not too small. They're kind of just a very nice nice ear here. And then we're gonna look at the forehead. The forehead kind of shows a little bit of like a frown. It's kind of a, like a shorter forehead, but they're almost kind of like grinning in a way. Like they're almost like hiding a secret from you. So it's kind of like seductive in a way. So that's kind of what I'm getting. There's also a little bit of tension in the forehead area. So this tension to me indicates that this person is practical in a lot of ways. They're practical and they definitely are someone who's very thoughtful. So they're able to think really by what is realistic, by what is practical. So they're very practical is what I'm getting here too. I'm also getting, they have very nice distinctive cheekbones, which kind of shows their sculpted face frame. Next, I wanted to point out the eyebrows. The eyebrows are more so straight on the straighter side, not too bushy, just kind of nicely, nicely shaped, you know, not too, not too arched, not too singular, but just very nice, shorter eyebrows. 
Next, let's look at the eyes. So the eyes right here show very piercing eyes, very, very almost like romantic eyes. And these romantic eyes kind of almost have this element of like secrets. So it's a very like secretive, seductive element in the eyes. And the eyes also show a very deep soul. If you can see here too, like even the shadows around the eyes show that this person has wisdom, has, you know, practical sense, has the ability to dominate and guide you in a certain way as well is what I'm really getting, as well as kind of learning. They're able to learn. They're able to learn from their past and help to kind of advise you in a way. They're kind of like have the secret advice for you and they want to share that with you. Next, what I'm getting here is smaller lips, but kind of like very seductive lips, lips that are are thin, but almost kind of hiding a grin. So I'm sensing like a crooked smile and kind of like a crooked way about them, but it's not a bad thing. It's actually a very like almost flirtatious kind of smile. So they are someone who is able to find humor in their grin and in you, and they're able to kind of find love as well. Also looking at their chin, I see a very prominent kind of, you know, shorter chin, but one that has a dimple too, which is a very cute, distinctive feature in a man. So there's a lot of things here. Then I'm sensing kind of a broader neck and broader shoulders. So this person I'm sensing too also is very muscular by nature. They have very nice shoulders and very nice arm muscles. And they have like that very masculine side. They have a very masculine element and a very like, they're very balanced is what I'm getting here. They're very masculine, but they also have this sweet sensitive side that they hide. So that's what I'm getting is like the masculine dominant nature of this man, but he has these tender hidden aspects of himself, which is kind of seen through the eyes that are almost kind of like humorous and through this mouth that's almost a little bit teasing. So he's kind of like teasing at his true nature. That's what I'm really getting about this male. Now we will look at our female version. So the female here is a little bit different in a few ways and I'll point that out for you guys. So first she's very small framed is what I'm getting. She's very small framed, has a very, very narrow but also very nicely proportioned head shape. We have darker hair color, a little bit wavy or even straight, honestly. It could be short. I'm not necessarily getting a sense on whether it's long or short, but it's very neat. This person's very neat and put together. Next, I really want to mention very small framed shoulders. And the forehead is a little bit longer of a forehead. We have a little bit longer of a forehead, which indicates that this person is very into being of service to others, very able to adapt. Next, the eyebrows are very thin, thin but shapely and very shaped very nicely. So very neat is what I'm getting, very organized of a person. And also I'd probably say someone who does like to please and help other people, but does have an aspect of themselves as well in what they want, but more so really is very into being of service and maybe even in the service industry. Next, what I'm feeling here is that they, their eyes are very beautiful. They have you know, little um, eyelashes and they have a little bit of an under eye as well, which is kind of a very beautiful trait. Everything is very beautiful. I wanted to mention too, as I'm saying all this, their eyes are a little bit more close together, I would say. And they're a little bit smaller eyes, but these eyes are still very piercing and very beautiful. Next, we look at the nose, which is a little bit shorter of a nose. It's a little bit short and a little bit wide, but also again, very beautiful. So it's a little bit more upturned of a nose. We don't have too much of a distinction with the cheekbones here, but next let's go into the lips. So the lips are a little bit thinner, but they're also a little bit compressed. So they're a little bit, you know, less of a width than some lips, but they're not too, they're just kind of more like nicely proportioned lips, very even, very even from top to bottom. They also are someone who's, again, Able, when they smile, they're really able to smile, but they are someone who doesn't like to always share that smile with everyone. Next, I wanna point out the chin. The chin is very diamond-like, very you know nicely shaped, and very, 
very beautiful overall is what I'm getting. And the cheeks themselves are pretty flushed as well, is another aspect. I'm also getting darker eyes I wanted to mention here. So darker, beautiful eyes that have seen and will see a lot of beauty and does see the beauty in other people. Also, we have a chin, going back to the chin, that isn't necessarily the most defined chin, but it is one that's more oval shaped. And that kind of leads into our smaller neck and our smaller petite frame. So anyways, that is it for today on the sketches of your soulmates. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, I would love it so much if you could click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and subscribe for us, which is just so amazing. We just really love growing this community and we put out a ton of amazing psychic content all the time. So again, if you haven't yet subscribed, it would mean so much if you just take a second and just hit that subscribe button. Also, if you can give this video a big thumbs up, that really helps us here on YouTube. It helps us to continue to grow and reach more people. And it also lets us know which kind of content you guys enjoy. So, you know, if this video was enjoyable, if you could give it a thumbs up, it really does go a long way for us as creators. Next, I did want to say too, that if you want to watch another pick a card reading, I have one linked at the top of the screen here, which I think you will enjoy as well, which is about your soulmate. So anyways, that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this reading and really had fun today. So again, I'm sending all my love and light to you guys until next time. Bye guys.